What's happening, y'all? Welcome back. Um, I don't know how we we didn't see it, but I'm dumb. The dude's right here. He's right here. He's he's just right here. He's right here. I don't know how. I don't know how I didn't see him just right there. Uh, that's cool. What happened is I was I, was, I came down here because it, it bothered me. I'm sitting here and I'm looking at this. I'm looking at it and I look at my picture and I'm like, you know what? In the picture I can see that little tower. And then I'm like, I gotta go over here. And then I turn around and I'm like, oh Jesus Christ, he's literally right there. He was just right behind me the whole time. All I had to do is just nudge back to get the tower in frame. So anyway, we're down. Um, we're gonna try and kill this thing. Obviously, we came down here. I don't think I can... You know, I'm gonna see. I'm gonna see something. You cannot rot these enemies. Easily the cleanest attempt so far, but also the shoddiest. The way down here, I got uh, attacked by a bat, and so I had to use up a bunch of my flasks in advance. This ain't good. Well, that was, uh, that was close. Um, I think if I, if I had had all of my flasks when I got down there, I probably could have done it, but that's, uh, that's, it's something for later. I'm not gonna, we spent enough time on that guy via the other video. 
Uh, so this is just a tower. This will this is gonna be a puzzle thing So we're gonna save the rise for closer to the end of the video instead. Let's go I want to finish exploring the region in entirety. I want to see everything that's out here. I want to figure it all out. So we're going to take this path up and see where that goes. And we're going to take the other bridge, get over to that thing, see what that's all about. Because I've been like really close to being like, uh, you know, exploration done. Not like, like there's still, you know, there's still stuff that I need to do here, but at least I have seen it. I know where the stuff is. I know what I want to hit. What the fuck is happening here? Oh God, it's a minefield. What is this? Where are we going? What the hell? Those shifty little bastards. Does that just bring us up to the, the big? Okay, it's just an alternate route to get up to the bridge. Oh, uh, you know what it is? It's probably like, oh, ho, 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 you want to cross the bridge? Fight the dragon. No! That's definitely it. It's a uh, cross the bridge, fight the dragon. But let's see, I wanna see if this is a named dragon or just a dragon dragon. So let's run past and see if we get a, uh, a boss bar pops up. Because he looks like the other dragons, but this one looks black. And the other dragons, they all looked uh, more of like a brownish, like a reddish brown. You know, very, very generic dragon color. Whereas this one looks dark. And I mean, as you know, as you know, if a dragon's black, obviously it's stronger. That's, it's, that's just, you know, RPG 101. Oh, the black dragon. Whoa. A legendary Blacku Dragon. Blue dragons are always about magic. And then you got your, your red dragons, they're about fire. But the legendary Blacku Dragon. Ultimate killer of mortals. I mean, the fact that he's on a bridge and I can summon for it makes me think he is named. I'm not seeing a name bar. What's up, buddy? We'll do a drive-by swing and see what his health is like. Ah, he is! Flying Dragon Grail. Oh yeah, we could kill him. I mean, I'll get this thing. So I gotta be honest, they, they, uh... <laughs> this dragon, man, when all the dragons were meeting and they were deciding on, on names, they sure, uh... Sure gave this guy the short end of the stick. Ah, uh, you shall be... Like, what is... <laughs> Hang on, I need to, like... I'd have to... No, I'll... I'll... It, it's a joke worth, worth telling, but I'd need to go all the way to the thing to get it. I was gonna say, it's like we have, like... You know, you got all your dragons, they dig. Oh, yes, this is, you know, Agil, Agil, the, the flying weapon of destruction. And they're like, ah, this is Smarugu of the Icy Breath. And ah, oh, this is, uh, you know, Glintarios of the Magic. Grail, the ancient dragon. And then we had the, you know, the, the other dude that we fought that, like, teleported away with the lightning and all that. Uh, what shall your name be, Grail? Ah. Uh, you know, I, I, uh, I have lots of powers, and I can breathe fire and stuff, and, uh, I like to spend a lot of time in the air. Mm. Flying Dragon. That is your name. Oh, get carried. Can I do it from this side? I can't. How sad.
He definitely knows how to hurt. socket. Let me go pick up real fast. Well, first, yeah, level up. So I want to pick up the other Rot Breath and see, because the thing is, I'm not worried about Rot Breath doing damage. I'm using it to inflict Rot. Um, and I mean, yeah, there's probably other things that could inflict Rot easier, but it's the fact that this has a really long range. And it's going to be really hard for people to outrun that in PvP. So I want to see how that compares. Or if it, if it can inflict rot in like one or, or two goes. Uh, where was... There we go. Everyone's favorite, testing doggo. Which while we're here, we can uh, look at some of those crazy spells I've picked up. And I can sort my chest, and I can level up stuff. Uh, one of the glintstone sorceries that manipulates gravitational forces. Numerous gravitational projectiles. Any foe struck, pulled towards the caster. Mastered by Young Radan. I thank you for your tutelage. Now I can challenge the stars. So... That's the baby one. That's the one that Radan used. That's the rock things. And then I guess this is, uh, that's the meteorite thing that is, is risky. Uh, what do we got weapon-wise, too? I got some stuff. Death's Poker and God Slayer Great Sword. I'll keep both of those on hand. One of these, I'm honestly, one of these I'm probably going to go towards uh, for my final build. I mean, oh, well, you're int. Never mind. I'll put you aside. Yeah, I don't know. I like it. Magic Fire, but, I mean, it has faith scaling, and... Uh, I could do magic fire with that. I keep these three weapons as my main go-tos. This thing's fun, but it... I don't know. I don't know. Um... Uh, bum, 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 bum. Alright. First up. Execu's Decay. So we need to do the full burst, and we got, um, we got about, we'll just say 2,000, almost 2,000 damage, full bar, and we didn't inflict rot until pretty late. The damage on that was pitiful, but I'm not sure if the damage was pitiful because he was farther away. Fourteen hundred, so it's weaker. Uh, now I'm gonna test startup animations. So. One, two, three, four. Roughly about four seconds before your breath comes out. One, two, three, four. So, 
Animation times are about the same. The other animation, it looks longer, and I could go check the frame data on it, but... Uh, yeah, I mean, this was getting... Let's just keep that on, because this, this does good damage like that, except this will also do rot. So, I like it, I like it, I like it. We have our rot breath. We have this breath to kill people with. Flame cleanse me. And then, um... I do like that. Mm, beast. Beast, beast, beast. Alright. Over... Ferrum Great Bridge we go. Now, I know there's that real big mean looking dude here. Um, that guy that's at the gate. We'll use the other teleport to fight him though. Is that a seed? It is. Uh, let's just see what else is around here. You know, what, what other stuff? Some baddies, no dungeon or anything. It's really cool looking art or statues. So. You get another coffee. Not nearly awake. Crazy thing, this is a fresh day of recording. Mm, another divine tower. Not the one of this region, though. So, if there's a divine tower there, dude, the Altus Plateau must be fucking ginormous. Thing. Do we get his big halberd? a whiff. Oh, shit. Yeah, he's... I don't know, man. That dude is pretty tanky. Um... trying to think here because like I mean I got I was doing all right damage but he was shredding my summon like summon was getting summon was getting touched not like the good kind of touch
Let's see where the He's resistant to holy and bleed. You fucking bitch, dude. I mean, I know I was the one that was, you know, cheesing on a ledge, but still. Fuck, so close. myself, but that's okay. Shit, I accidentally used them all.
Big boy down. 88,000. Gargoyle's Black Blade and Halberd. That's cool. Let's take a look at him. Uh, 261022. And All right, first thing. Seems kind of short, doesn't it? It's got a move set I like. Wait, strength, dex, faith. Oh, yeah, dude. That's physical holy. Oh, yeah, so he was resistant to holy damage. Uh, these are also strength, dex, faith. 18, 10, 22. Uh, let's look at the stuff. Just spinning slash. Such is the mark of those who serve Malaketh the Black Blade. Uh, Lost Skill of Ancient Heroes. Lift the sword up high to release the power of Corpse Wax and launch it forward to the blade like as a projectile. Um, let me go over here and just rest to get FP and see what this looks like. Because this could be a solid sword for me as well if I don't want to go for the Ultra, the Colossal Sword route. Yeah, it's just standard. What's this? Wait, 11.5? What's my scythe? 7.5. So it's definitely a lot heavier. I like it more than the claymore, though. It's because I'm getting that, that split scaling and holy on it. And they're very, it's very comparable damage-wise. Look at that, 264, 262. Oh, hang on, that might be because... Oh, no, I think it shows the two-handed damage. Yeah, it does, okay. So that was two-handing. Um... Yeah, I don't know. That sword's that sword's definitely a, a potential choice to add to my lineup. Um uh, ba 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 sword chest. Hang on. Um go, uh Seven and four. Seven and four feels good. Oh, I mean, how often do I? No, yeah, let's go seven and four. Uh, Albert. So these three are the ones that have the fun move set. This one's also holy, but thirty strength to use it, and thirteen point five. You also come in at 12. Um, let me see. Can I change the Ash of War on it? I can't. That sucks. You're locked with Spin Slash on it. Yeah, I like the Halber moveset, but I don't think that's for me, sadly. It's just, I don't know. If I could have mixed up the moveset, or if it, if it had a unique art, which I'm surprised it doesn't, because the sword does. You know, it could have done like... Uh, I don't know, just something similar. Um, but these two, Godslayer and Gargoyles, both of those have a uh, have some serious potential for being incorporated into my build. We're gonna drop the heavy claymore. Uh, so before we wrap, next episode is gonna focus on uh, completing things that were left over in the zone and beyond the zone. Just you know. Like, those things that are like, oh, yeah, I gotta get that done. I gotta get, like, the marks we put on the map, shit like that. Uh, after that, we're gonna head up north. I'm going to... Check for you. I can't make you higher. That's okay. That's okay. What about, uh, what about you? Uh, somber. Somber 7. Uh, what is the... You're also somber. Okay, let's go. 
number one, Samba two, Samba two, Samba three, Samba three, Samba four, Samba four, five, Samba five. Uh, so they're all at five. Oh, that's at six. So just out of curiosity, um, let me raise my decks up to the level. Oh, we need to have the rune thing in effect. Well, put you on. So it outclasses the Winged Scythe, which is nice because this has bleed. Um, hmm. Let's try it. Let's we'll try it out next. Uh, we'll try it out this next episode and get a feel for what we you know. Are we quick rolling with it? Yeah. I fit my pot on too. I can't because it weighs nothing. Hell yeah, dude! What a great alternate weapon. So wrap it up here. Y'all stay tuned, more coming your way in a little bit.